What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video and in this video I have an injury report for you guys for the Sunday game against the Minnesota Vikings. So let's get it started. Like I said, the Detroit Lions will play the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday, so I had to come out here with the injury report. You know how I do. We're going to look at the Detroit Lions. I have a little bit for the Minnesota Vikings, but not very much. It's the first guy that has been ruled out is Imani Oruwariye. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty good at saying that now, okay? I gotten better, all right? You guys can probably remember back to the offseason. I was so terrible with that. I'm probably still wrong, but I think it's getting a little bit better. I haven't had to say his name in a while. If you guys notice, a lot of times when Imani comes up, I just say Imani. I don't say the last name, or I definitely don't just say his last name because then I look real dumb. I just say Imani, okay? So if you ever just like, oh, why does he never say his last name? Well, that's that's the reason. Next up, Mike Daniels, okay? We talked about this guy. He has been ruled out once again, so he's not going to play this week either. He missed his game versus Green Bay Packers. He's missing this game. This is unfortunate. Mike Daniels has been out a little bit longer than I thought he would be, and during the week, it really didn't look like he was going to play at all. No really participation whatsoever, so this isn't very surprising, but it is unfortunate. Now, there are tons of guys that have been listed as questionable for the game. Darius Slay, Quandre Diggs, Deshaun Hand, Rick Wagner, and Nick Bowden. Now, Nick Bowden's the fullback. I think he'll play. I'm not really too worried about that. Um, also, Darius Slay, I think he'll play as well. He played last week. I think he's going to be fine. I think they just still have him on there. Next up, Quandre Diggs. Now, he really didn't play that much last week. I don't even know if he played at all, but he was dealing with that injury, and we didn't really hear about Quandre Diggs, so hopefully he's back, okay? I think he'll give way more playing time this week. We definitely need him. It definitely helps our secondary. Not like our secondary hasn't been balling, but it definitely helps out to have a great safety, and we've lost a couple of players during that game. Some of them came back, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, he's good. Deshaun Hand, this man is questionable. Apparently, people are thinking that he's going to play this weekend. I hope those people are right because I would love to see Deshaun out there. His first game of his second year of his career in the NFL. This is a really big moment for him if he can come back. Once he comes back, it's going to be very, very helpful, okay? You have to think, we've already played five games we haven't seen him one time, okay? I really want to see this man on the field. He was definitely someone that we were hoping would have a big impact on us coming into the season. And since we haven't seen him, we don't know what to, what to expect from him. But he did do a lot of good things in his rookie season. So I'm expecting a lot of good things. And I really want to see you out there to help out this defense line that has been beat up a little bit now rick wagner he has come on there with that knee injury i talked about it some people were really upset like hey man get this dude out of here okay he was getting destroyed versus the packers we need to get this man out of here well i don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon knee injury is something that came up i don't think he'll miss the game uh but hopefully he's healthy enough to the point where he doesn't get destroyed like he did versus green bay packers because the vikings defensive line is no joke and they're gonna be a problem if we can't stop them i also want to throw this news in here the troy lions have worked out jeremy hill he is a running back yeah i can remember him back when he was with the Bengals. that's where i remembered him best uh this guy has played for a few teams but i thought i would get that out there that they have worked out jeremy hill i just wanted to tell you guys that was the case now looking at the vikings side of things they really during the week had a lot of people that were maybe going to be questionable coming into the game but they're not all of these guys have full practice today so there's really nothing they're worried about there there's only two players that are really on this list those guys are Ben Gideon. Um, he is ruled out for the game. He's linebacker, and so is Kendrell Brothers, okay? He's a linebacker as well, but he's ruled questionable, so he may play. Now, we talked about those guys maybe missing, maybe to potentially, but other than that, all of their guys have full practice, so I expect all of them to play. Now, I thought this was interesting. As we know, the Laquad Treadwell story came up where, you know, he said, easy dub. He's talked about that at, in the locker room, and obviously, it's locker room talk. Sometimes, you just kind of say stuff because you're hyped. Well, Darius Slay said, look, we're not even worried about this at all. This is not something that we've even talked about. We haven't even discussed it. Obviously, all of us have seen it, but we don't have it on the bullet, bulletin board. It's not something that we're worried about. We know what we get paid to do. Basically, we just got to go take care of business. So he's not really worried about Laquan Treadwell. I think he kind of roasted him a little bit in there, kind of just saying, like, look who's saying this. That's kind of tough, but you know you know how it is. You got you to you gotta shoot shots back, all right? He's going to shoot shots. He's got to shoot him back. But I want to prove to them on the field rather than prove to them on top, okay? So that is your injury update for this game obviously things will come out maybe we'll see another guy be ruled out but for now friday injury report there you go let me hear your thoughts in the comments below thank you for watching and i'm out